And President Biden is isolating for a second straight day after he tested positive for COVID-19. That happened less than a day after the president returned from a visit to Massachusetts and after his trip overseas last week. ABC's Rena Roy tells us how the president is doing now. President Biden in isolation for a second day now after testing positive for COVID-19 Thursday. Officials say he's experiencing mild symptoms like a runny nose, a dry cough and fatigue. And I really appreciate your inquiries and your concerns, but I'm doing well. The 79 year old president saying he's doing great, making phone calls, attending meetings virtually and continuing to fulfill his duties. He is fully vaccinated and double boosted and now taking the antiviral drug Paxlovid given his age. I think it's the right thing to do for anybody who's at elevated risk as defined by the CDC FDA, which basically is anyone over the age of 50, anybody under 50 who's got chronic diseases. I actually think a broad swath of Americans who are getting infected should be getting Paxlovid. Uh, the president, of course, no exception. Today, he's holding several virtual meetings, including one with his economic team to discuss lowering gas prices. We get a lot of work done, going to continue to get it done. and. Uh, and in the meantime, thanks for your concern and keep the faith. It's going to be OK. The positive test result came less than 24 hours after the president was in Massachusetts, working the crowd, chatting maskless with reporters and spending time with members of Congress. Now, contact tracing is underway, including with Senators Elizabeth Warren and Ed Markey, who were on Air Force One with the president. Both tested negative, along with First Lady Jill Biden. The president will isolate for a full five days per CDC guidelines. The White House also requiring him to test negative before he goes back to work in person. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.